students getting scholarships from one more than one ward is uh, occasioned by inadequate funding. Kenya shilling 350 million shared equally among 35 wards is not enough considering the high population. Hence, some students get bursaries as low as 2,000, which cannot retain them in schools. This situation forces some students to make multiple applications in different wards. The county government of Kilif is, however, in the process of finalizing amendment of the Scholarship Act 2018 to increase the fund from uh, Kenya shillings 250 million to Kenya shillings 500 million as an effort to address the issue of inadequate funding. On chair, uh, please note that on the 30th of uh, January 2024, I assented to the Kilifi County Ward Scholarship Fund Amendment Act 2023, Section 2 of the Kilifi County Ward Scholarship Fund Amendment Act 2023, amend Section 4 of the Principal Act by deleting Paragraph A and replacing thereof with the following words. Money is allocated by the county assembly for the, for the fund amounting to not less than Kenya shillings 500 million Kenya shillings and not more than Kenya shillings 1 billion. Appendix, uh, appendix 3.1, see Amendment Act 2023, which increased the fund from shillings 350 million to 500 million. The scholarship board sat and agreed that the Department of Education should procure the integrated bursary management system, which will help in detecting multiple allocations and assist in performance monitoring and evaluation. Attached are minutes, stroke resolutions of the scholarships board membership approved, approving the purchase of the system. That's Appendix Chapter 3 2. Board resolutions and minutes. On chair, I wish to make a small correction and duly informed by the fund administrator of Kilifi County Ward Scholarship Fund that the date on the board minutes is Thursday, the fourth day of January 2024, not the 14th day of January 2024. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, Governor, you can provide us what you're reading because. What I'm reading is not uh, here, and I will need it when I'm writing the report. Okay, it's, I, I thought it was attached. Did you provide it? We had done that, uh, and I said it should have been attached. I, I don't attached. It's an amendment. I just wanted to... to no, I need it. So yeah, we'll, it, we'll it. now table it. That's why I was reading, okay. to ask if I can now table it, because please, those are Please table anomaly. it, so that we can... Because the 14th day, if you check, uh, chair, even that. it is uh, Sunday. <laughs> so I think there was okay. a typo error. That's why I decided to make it clear here. We proceed and table. Yeah. Yeah. Just table. And actually, particularly what I'd like you to table yeah. is where you quoted the amendment that you're going to do, what it says, because it's not written here. Okay. Chair, if you allow me, I will table it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Kilaku, you can pick that. Uh, auditor, your comments on the response. Yes, there are minutes approving, recommending that uh, the limits for county funds be increased, but uh, we don't have the act, we don't have the amendment, the amended act, it is still not there. So the position still remains as it is reported, because the, the process has not been finalized. Thank you. Governor. Uh, I have it here. Unfortunately, we have not yet gazetted it. That's why I didn't want to table it. But we have the amended act, and I've already assented to it. No problem. You can okay. still table it. Okay. Then I table it as uh, as uh, evidence for the sound. The clerk, you it's can. It's, in the, it's already on your document here. Unless you don't have a copy, then I can add it on. So the auditor, maybe you check your documents. You can guide chair, the auditor. Away. Chair, we have the minutes indicated, but uh, we don't have the act. 
Uh, Chair, maybe you should check page 94, uh, Auditor. You should find it there, unless you are copied in that one. Yeah, yeah, I can see a document here. Have you seen it? Yes, yes, it is there. Page 94. Yes, yes, it is there. Page 94, you've seen it, eh? Yes, yes, yeah. So what is your response to the comment by the written response by the governor? We, we, we can review it once it is gazetted. When it becomes, it becomes law, we can have a look at it because we were comparing the, current, the previous act with the current act. So, so if we get the amended act, we really appreciate it. We'll have responded to the issue. So the amended act is there. So it's it's only the gazettement that is, yeah, it's just a gazettement. So maybe you know because you know we are we may not have another opportunity. To look at this uh, matter again yes, before yeah. we do our report uh, on the assented to uh, does it address your concerns yes it has increased the limits which was uh, um, preventing them from uh, providing bursaries to the required numbers so we will review it in the subsequent years now now that we have the act but but sure okay. if i may because um, I, it took me some time to really quite understand. And at first I was like, I told the secretary, these guys are not responding to the query. Because the query is very simple. Like in Hapanyi Mesema, however students getting scholarship from more than one word is occasioned by inadequate funding. You know, you know so when you read that, it's a bit uh, confusing. But I've, later on is what I understood, what, what was going on. But the question that I ask, is this have you now with the new amendments that you brought in i've seen only one thing that you've addressed you've said that a percentage 25 percent of the money set aside for disbursement under this act shall be allocated to grant full scholarships and grants and then you're saying amount and then here you say that money allocated the county simply for, uh, A, 4A, an amount totaling to 70% of the monies set aside for disbursement under this act shall be allocated equally to all wards. To address the issue raised by the auditor, that a student is applying from this ward and also applying for this other ward, uh, don't you think it would be proper for you to look at that act again and maybe then bar students from applying from two different wards? Because what said they will not be able to apply? Or is it there? So this time around is there? Four, four? Four, six, A. Okay, recipients shall only receive from one word particular time. So I think then in that case, the issue is resolved. But Chair, I want to also say something, which will be of interest of your question. If you allow me, I know you're already satisfied, but what we are trying to do is first you have seen we are addressing this uh, issue uh, by, for, by creating a system. Because one of the things you will see in, in this report, what could not be addressed clearly, was the queries of how monies were left, how some monies were located a little bit more, because of the balances. The new act and the full sponsorship, we have done this year. We have taken 200,623, I think, students, full scholarship. What are we doing? We are trying to address also that issue. Because some of these students or parents who used to jump from one ward or to the other, it's because they got national schools, and they didn't have enough money. Now, all students from Kilifi County who have gotten national school are fully funded for the next four years and have already dispatched their first batch. All thank you. All students. Amazing. Yeah, uh, thank chair. you. Yeah, Senator Mutinda. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I appreciate that uh, uh, the key issues as far as the, the regulations are concerned have been addressed, but still on the same point, Abona Governor, um, I noticed that... Uh, there's a word called Sokoni. And in this, in this Sokoni ward, we have students who have benefited uh, with amounts amounting to 53,554. 
a bit consecutively because we realize in that particular ward we have uh, other students with similar amounts. But when you go to a ward like Rabai Kisurutuni, uh, these students have benefited with uh, as low as 4,000, 5,000. And yet a student is benefiting with 53,000 from Sokoni uh, award. Why this uh, huge difference and discrepancy uh, as, as is seen here? And Sokoni ward is where we have those students who have received that. Uh, uh, Chair, uh, the Proceed. reason why is what exactly what I've just said. This is one of the things which made me uh, 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 come with an amendment because this is happening because you get that word, those students' chances are that they got national school, and the MCA and the committee decided they are from poor family, so let's give them either full scholarship or a better amount so that they can go to school. You will be taken to school by the county government. That's why we have the new increment of 150 million, and if our revenue collection improves in July, it will go to 1 billion. So that from September this year, we will again pick now a certain number from public universities who also are from uh, uh, disadvantaged families so that we don't only educate people to from four level but to university level and teachers. Uh, uh, Governor, on that, uh, through the chair, so you want to tell these committee students from Sokoni are the only ones who really qualify for national schools because they're the only ones who have received that? No, it's not actually. If you check the report properly, you'll realize there are a few words. Even that one you have pointed out of Kisarotini. There are a few students who are paid more money there basically some MCAs with the committee at their discretion decided these kids, because probably they have seen the families are very poor, and they gave them either full scholarship or at least three quarters. And to kill that, that's why I've done them. And now there'll be no favoritism that you can sit and say, because everybody gets. Those who watched, it was done live uh, uh, in the beginning of the year, when the, before the 21st of January, I flagged off all the students with checks and they're all in school at the moment. There are few students who are still lucky and home because their parents want us also to buy them school uniforms. And I've said we're also mopping those with the Department of Education. If you have a check from the county of not going to school, you will be reported to the police and you'll be arrested. Congratulations for the good job. Okay, very well. Uh, honorable members, I think the explanations are clear and the documents provided have also given us some clarity on this matter, so we should not belabor the point here. Uh, the query is resolved. So we move on to... I agree that it is resolved, eh? but if you look at the what the auditor read, eh? they need to rephrase, uh, to rephrase it very well. Performance reflects general expenses, bursary payments, of Kenya shillings 349 million 334,615. However, the management did not provide the list of bursary applicants for the year under review for audit. Further, there was no evidence to confirm that the list of bursary applicants, successful applicants, and ward scholarship committee resolutions were submitted to the county assembly select committee <coughs> as required required by Section 291 of the Kilifi County Ward Scholarship Fund Administration amended Amendment Act 2018 that provides that the chairperson of the Ward Scholarship Committee shall submit to the board a list containing A, the names of all the applicants and resolution of the committee whether to accept or reject the application and Section 29.2 that provides that the board shall submit to the county assembly select committee A, a list under subsection 1, and B, a list containing the successful scholarship applications. In the circumstances, the accuracy and com completeness and regularity of the bursary payments of Kenya shillings 349,334,615 shillings could not be confirmed. Thank you, Chair. Chair, yeah, the findings by the Auditor General are true. However, the list of the bursary applicants for the financial year 2021-2022 is hereby attached for verification. That uh, Appendix 2.1. Attached bursary application, applicants register. It is true that the uh, list of bursary applicants 
were not submitted to the county assembly. However, the current position is that we are now fully compliant as per the act, as per as pen, uh, appendix uh, 2 2. Attached uh, here it is a submission letter of the list of uh, successful scholarship applicants to the Cliffy County Assembly for approval. Chair, um, the, what happens is after the applicants have been verified by the board and the committees on the ground and funds have been dispersed is when then the committee reports to the assembly. Uh, and it, 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 that's how the uh, position is. And it's done so because here yeah, you realize if you take it to the assembly, when in January kids have to report in 10 days and they start to verify for one month or two when the assembly has time, then kids will never go to school. So we report to the assembly. The way I report to the assembly, every year on progress of the county. That's what happens. Thank you, Chair. It says that it shall be provided to a select committee, or what does it say? I'm trying to go through it again. Assembly Select Committee. Yes. Okay. Um, what does the law say once the list has been submitted to the select committee, does the select committee respond back in writing and also, or does it just rubber stamp as having received the, the list? I'm trying to understand the law because uh, the secretary had asked me what would be the purpose of submitting it to the assembly? Because it says here, and I'd like to read, I don't know, legal, if you can read for us that section 29.2 of that act. Do you have that act? Maybe just read for us. Do you have a copy of your act? If you don't mind, can I have, a, can I have it yes, here? Sir. Just give it to me and I'll read it. As Olekina reads it, eh? you know basically what uh, the senator is trying to tell you. Why do you want to subject your subject your work to the assembly and waste a lot of time? As you've said, the reason why you've not given it's because you are fearing they'll take a lot of time and the students might be sent home. So why give them that opportunity when they don't need? They can do their own oversight later on. In fact, as um, uh, my colleague has picked up, uh, rightfully, auditor. The act is very clear. It just says the board shall submit to the county assembly select committee, a select committee, not the assembly itself, but a select committee, which probably in this case it's a education committee or something. At least under subsection one, and at least containing the successful scholarship applicants. The act does not say when. It said shall. So I don't know whether governor, you may need to figure out how to resolve that issue so that we don't have that query. Because I'm trying, and the only reason why I'm taking this line of um, cross-examination is because I know this happened when you are not the governor. And this act was passed when you are not the governor. But now you're here, this is no longer the Auditor General's report, it is our report. So we're just trying to find a way to mitigate. Mr. Chairman, my view is this. I think um, this section needs to be much clearer in terms of setting up the timelines for it to be submitted. Because as the way it is right now, auditor, <laughs> it uh, leave room, it, you know, it leaves room. But I also want you to be okay with it because it leaves room in terms of uh, either it being abused or not being complied with, one of the two. So, Chair, if no, I may, uh, proceed, Governor. If I may, uh, you will see on the uh, appendix 2 2 that there's a letter there written submission of list of successful bursary. Proceed. Yeah, I'm the same, uh, Governor. You are doing so well, eh? but uh, now uh, I think we either it's English and Swahili because what you're trying to say 2.1, which is this, and what the auditor is querying, uh, 2.2 scholarship applicants 
you know, this what is here, what you have submitted is, is not the same. You know, this is a whole sum in terms of the ward. If you talk of Sheila Ward, 4.1, that's general. But you look at uh, the, the auditor's query was successful scholarship applicants. That has not been submitted. I would wish that the governor concentrates with Senate. You've been with him in Kilifi County. He's ours now. And uh, uh, 2.1, you realize it's also some English because it is true that the list of bursary applicants were not submitted. Applicants, mimi mwanafunzi na jaza ile karatasi ya kuweza kuitisha. Ile, hiyo ndiyo auditor anauliza were not submitted to county uh, assembly. However, the current position is that we are fully compliant as per the act. That's an act na applicant in Anglia wapi. We were not talking about the, 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 what the question was more on. We wanted to see here our wanafunzi huyu ambaya anaitwa uh, Meza David Iha, admission number 2584, Malindi High School, uh, the boss, I think that's the word or something. Then how did uh, David apply? Who approved, you know, who's the chair of the committee, then there's application uh, and all that, the attachment of Malindi High School, and then Apo Nyuma, I assume, then the approval of saying, uh, David fees, for example, is 40,000, but the, the, what he has been given, for example, is 20,000. You know, that is what we needed to see here. Okay, uh, Senator Mutinda, yes, uh, for your indulgence, you share about that anom anomaly, but... Uh, um, Maybe just to clarify also, when we do the uh, vetting of, um, of uh, applicants at the ward level, we have a, a committee where also the ward administrator and the MCS sit on the committee for make sure that. But uh, I'm sorry that you don't have in your attachment. I have a copy if you may allow me to table to the committee. Yeah, please with proceed. All the with the, all the beneficiaries. Proceed and table. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chairman. Yeah, proceed. Okay. Um, Governor, the only reason why, and auditors, maybe we can indulge each other here, the reason why I'm particular about this Section 29 being made clear is because there's no timeline for submission as per the law. And if you look at what the Governor has submitted, it is he has submitted after your audit, which is in October of 2023. That is when it was submitted. So if you look at it, it's, it's complied. Eventually, it has been resolved. But can we be a much neater governor in terms of looking at that? Either, one, you resolve the matter in terms of the board, so for the board to keep the record. Or if you want to now involve the select committee of the assembly for oversight, I would think, then you have a timeline. And say immediately after you know, before the financial year is over for audit review. You need to add that as aspect in it. Sure, if I may. Uh, uh, we have already agreed with the county attorney and the team. We have to do it because if we don't put uh, time limits, then you'll get students suffering because everybody leaves, leaves, leaves it open. So we've already agreed for an amendment so that there are time lights, so that kids can go to school on time. Thank you. And they uh, well uh, received the uh, chair. Will. Honorable members, I think the auditor will have a chance to look at the list that has been tabled. And the uh, governor has uh, agreed that necessary changes are going to be done on the issue of timelines. So I think in the next audit review, we will uh, review that. But for now, uh, I think the matter is uh, partially, partially resolved until uh, the, that verification is done and uh, on the promise that there will be changes to the act on the issue of timelines. So let's proceed to the next audit, the last audit. Thank you, Chair. Other matter, budgetary control and performance. The statement of comparison of budget and accurate amounts reflects both the final receipts, budget, and accurate amounts on comparable basis of Kenya shillings 372 million, 618,538 shillings or 100% of the budget performance. Similarly, the fund expended Kenya shillings 359 million, 993,685 shillings against an approved budget of Kenya shillings 372 million 618,538 resulting in under expenditure of Kenya shillings 12 million 624,853 shillings or 
3% of the budget. In the circumstances, the under-expenditure is likely to affect the planned activities and may impact negatively on service delivery to the public. Thank you, Chair. Can you confirm if it is a, a similar query across the three years? Yes, we have um, an issue on budget throughout the three years. Okay, so for us to address the issue of budget control, we will use this as a basis. Uh, Governor, your response? Uh, Chair, um, the underperformance was largely uh, contributed by lack of proper communication channels between the fund and the World Scholarship Committees, which occasioned delay in submitting lists of successful students, hence making the payment of bursary to cross the financial year. World administrators are now included in the World Scholarship Committees, as I've said earlier, as ex-official members who will now provide a link between the Kilifi County World Scholarship Fund and the World Scholarship Committees for proper communication. As indicated in Appendix 3.1, Abstract of Amended Act 2023, Unresolved Prior Years Matters, in the... No, sorry. That's, a, that's not mine. Another question. That's not mine. I'm done. Sorry. Uh, can I hear your comments, Auditor? Thank you, Chair. We'll be reviewing in the subsequent year since that act was that amended last year. So we'll be reviewing to see whether your budget performance has improved. Thank you. Uh, Senator Olekina. Um, just out of curiosity, the other... Um, Mombasa County, and I, and this is to the auditors first before I come to you, is the 359 included in the administrative cost, or is this 3% also part, was this set aside for administrative cost in terms of the ceiling? I, I think if you if you become clearer there, it would help us be able to understand that. Because I just find it interesting that it's a 3% that has been set aside, uh, not the the response from the governor notwithstanding. And then while you're looking at that auditor, which I'll wait for you, for you to respond, governor, I don't know whether you've looked at the financial statements for this um, fund and what were the administrative costs or who bought the administrative cost. Because this 3% is of interest to me in the sense that that is a ceiling set in terms of the administration. Chair, I've looked at it uh, um, then, uh, as late as yesterday, but I haven't uh, really uh, uh, been able to say what percent. But I know that uh, there are some years they spent 12 million, some years was only eight. So, I need so, to then, really... so then in that case, Auditor, if you can respond to that, because the, the response by the governor, for me, is inadequate. Because when you say the underperformance was largely contributed to lack of proper communication channels between the fund and World Scholarship Committee, that means that there are some students who are not uh, considered. But I think this 3% is of interest to me because that is what is set aside. So I don't know whether, Auditor, you've got the financial statements. We look at the financial statements and we look at the, um, the line items. Sure. Let the auditor respond first. The 359 chair includes administration uh, expenses. So our co the concern of the uh, uh, the concern on budgetary control and performance was mainly on under expenditure. Yeah. So it what was the percentage through the chair? What was the percentage of the administrative cost? It's uh, general. general. Do you have a copy of those uh, financial statements? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are they here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Eight, 
ten percent. It's it's three percent. Yeah. Chair, as the auditor goes through the documents, maybe I, from the response from the governor, if you read it very clearly, I want to put it to the governor to tell us, is it true then, from what you are saying, that there was a delay in remitting the bursary, but subsequently, during the next financial year, the 12 million was paid to the beneficiaries, because that is what I'm picking from here. Yeah, you got it right. It was forwarded. When the, when the money was not spent, it was forwarded to the next financial year. And I think the auditors also managed to see that that following year it was spent. Members, I also want you to note that uh, this query is recurring. In the year 2021, there was also under, under, under expenditure by 6%. So the latest year is 3%. So the, the percentage is going down. Mutinda? Yeah, I, I had two questions. One to, one to the auditors as they are checking the financial. Uh, if the 12 uh, million was brought forward uh, to financial year 23, uh, 24. But I think the governor somehow has responded by saying that, that one. But now, uh, when the, our chair says that this uh, query is recurrent, and now you are, your feedback in terms of um, uh, poor communication between fund and the scholarship committee. Does that try to politely indicate that uh, there were wrangles uh, between uh, the members of the committee, probably themselves? And we've seen these things happening, whereby someone feels that uh, their, their people have not been really given as per the expectation, and they're supposed to sign, and they refuse to sign, and things like that. And hence, uh, the Mwanainchi is the one who's uh, much affected, simply because of uh, personal working issues. Because not spending 12 million, which is supposed to benefit needy students, simply because of a uh, uh, poor communication channel, Chair, I've, I've realized there are many issues contributing to this, and we have it in various departments. Most of the time is that uh, these parents also, the meetings are not done before at a village level. They are done at, at a ward level or, or locational level. So you get people who, if you go to places like Ganze, for example, the people that come from very far distances, that somebody goes 